This week on George to the Rescue. Katie has a condition called neurofibromatosis, and this condition has caused her to grow tumors on her brain and on her spinal cord. Well, I know that you guys were told that I was coming here kind of just to scout it out, but uh, that's not the truth. We are coming to rescue you. Yeah! yeah. Everything in this room has got to go because we are rebuilding it from the ground up. Are you ready to see your new room? Yeah. Take it all in, guys! Oh my god! I'm George Oliphant in Corum, New York, and we're here to rescue the Hansons. Mom and Dad wrote in to tell me about their three-year-old daughter, Katie, who suffers from a genetic disorder that causes tumors to form on the brain and spine. Mom and Dad want to give her that big girl room she's always wanted, but because of the time and energy and money they've spent on her treatments, they've been unable to do so, which is what brings me here today. From the floors to the walls, we're going to transform Katie's room from a nursery to a big girl room. There are four of us in our family. There's Rob and I, and then we have two children, Kevin, who's five, and Katie, who's three. Katie has a condition called neurofibromatosis, and this condition has caused her to grow tumors on her brain and on her spinal cord. The tumors on her brain, in particular the one in her optic nerve, has caused her to lose all of the vision in her left eye. What we're trying to do is save the vision in her right eye. So in order to prevent the tumor from growing or moving into the right eye, they're using chemotherapy to either shrink it or at the very least stabilize it. The future for Katie at, at this moment seems to be with her condition is a just continuous constant monitoring. Uh, well, we originally wanted to be considered for this for Katie's sake. She's been going through a lot this year with chemotherapy. And um, in addition to that, her room is an old room. It needs some updating. Crib is still in there. It's a toddler bed now, but it's all the original nursery furniture. She really wants it to be a girl's room. <laughs> Hey, how's it going, Rob? Yeah, George. George. Hi, I'm Kim. Nice Hi, to meet Kim. you. Hi, Kim. Nice to meet you. Hi. How are you, Katie? Hi, Katie. Hi, Katie. And you must be Kevin. How's it going, guys? Hi. We saw you on TV. You saw me on TV? Yeah. Me do you guys want to be on TV? Yeah. No. Yes. You don't want to? You do? Yes. How about you, Katie? Do you want to be on TV? You want to be on TV? Yeah. Well, I know that you guys were told that I was coming here kind of just to scout it out, but uh, that's not the truth. We are coming to rescue you. Yeah. Yeah! All right, how do you feel about that? That's super, that's gonna be great. Awesome? I understand that uh, you might need a new bedroom. Is that right? That's you want to show right. Your Let's see what I can do with it? Yes. All right, lead the way, lead the way, Katie. Right. If you could have anything in this room, what would you want? What would you want me to do for you? Paint. Paint? I can do that. Anything else? Yeah. Okay, keep the list coming. Something maybe for your dress up for all of your costumes? Yeah. Okay, makes sense. My beautiful dress. Well, that is a beautiful dress. That is a very beautiful dress. Yeah, mommy, me. What is your favorite thing in this room? Hmm, pink, pink, pink. Pink, pink, pink. Okay, I think I know what color to start I with. I think I pink. The pink. <laughs> To help me tackle this project, I run to my friend Eamon Roche from Roundtable Builders. Thanks for being here. Hey, good to be here, George. Good to have you on the rescue. All right. So I figured I would uh, take you around, show you Katie's bedroom, show you the house, and we'll see what we can do for him. Great. All right. Let's do it. Let's check it out. All right. And Eamon, this here is Katie's room. As you can tell by the yes. Kate right there on the wall. <laughs> yeah. And it definitely has that nursery feel, right? It, it truly does. I mean, maybe to a fault. Um, I'm thinking the bones of the room are good. There's not yeah. a lot structurally we can do, but I, I feel that we can definitely totally change the room even without knocking our walls down. I agree. I mean, a lot of these things could be on the uh, level of painting. Mm -hmm. We do have a nice western aspect here. We're getting good light. It's the middle of the day, right. but we really just have one light source, yeah. which kind of stinks. So I'd love to think about lighting, and I know that we talked about her health. Right. I'd love to take this carpet out just because it's really impossible to truly clean it. Right. And I then agree. we could do a nice hardwood floor in here. 
All right, so uh, what do you say we snoop around and see if there are any other projects we can tackle over here? Let's find them. Okay. All right, Eamon, welcome to the room that I like to call the everything room. It's the family room, the den, TV room, and of course, Kevin and Katie's playroom. The first thing obviously has to do with the number of toys here, um, which is, you know, substantial. Yeah. And we don't want to just put them away because right. they're meant to be used, but we want to be able to have them have a place. So we really have to make this room work hard. Yeah. Yeah. I've got some ideas. I knew you would. So what do we have in here? Ooh, jackpot. Wow. This is the picture of dysfunction. This is, I, I would have to say, the worst uh, would-be master bathroom. This is the I've, ugliest I've master seen. bathroom. What is going on with this tub over here? You see this? And I, I think they're using this as like extra storage for, for clothes. <laughs> well, it's not hard to see why this became a closet. Yeah, right? you certain you certainly wouldn't want to take your clothes off in this room. I think we have to do it. All right, guys, so Eamon and I have scoured the entire house, checked out your projects. Good news is we are going to give your beautiful daughter, Katie, a wonderful big girl room. Yay! But we got something else for you. We're going to tackle your den, and we couldn't help but notice the absolute disaster that your master bathroom is in, so uh, we're going to do that for you guys, too. Yay! Oh, my God! <laughs> I thought you guys would have a reaction like ah! Oh, we're so excited. All right, well, you know what that means. It's time for us to get to work. So uh, I need you guys to pack your bag. Bags, I guess, plural. Bags. And, uh, I'm ready. You ready? Oh, she's ready. Katie's ready. <laughs> it's time for you guys to go off to Grandma's house. I'm All right. ready. You're ready, too? All right. All right, so get your bags together, take off to Grandma's house, and I'll see you at the reveal. All right. Can't wait. I can't wait to show you guys your new home. Coming up. This is a two-man job. Why don't I take those from you? Yeah, okay. easy. Keep them in order. Don't put your back okay. out. You know. I won't. For color, inspiration, and so much more, visit a Benjamin Moore store. To locate a Benjamin Moore store near you, log on to BenjaminMoore.com. All right, Eamon, it is finally time for demolition now that we got Rob and Kim and the kids out of here. It's time to start breaking things. It is, and we have a lot to break in a very small space. Let's get going on the master bathroom. We have plumbing, electrical, tile, sheetrock, a lot of stuff going on up there. So that's where we should get started. Yeah. Let's head on up there. Okay. All right, so uh, let's close it first. Yeah, let's take that out and reveal the pipes, which we hope to find inside the wall. And if they're not there, we'll just look for them somewhere else. Huh? We'll just keep breaking stuff. I like that. You're speaking my language. Huh. All right, nice. Cleared it out, found the pipes. That's obviously, it's not up to code. We need to get the sheetrock out of there. Consider it done. This is the, is the soap holder next door. When we take this tub out, be careful it may be hang, Yeah, we got to be very gingery with this because we could we could wrench this and just torque this whole wall out. Oh. I've seen how you work. Oh. Oh. Toilet pool water, I love it. All of a sudden, turns into rescuing one bathroom to yeah. rescuing two bathrooms. Yeah, you'd love that, wouldn't you? That's really not yeah. the budget. <laughs> all right, John. All we got left is the tub. I can't do anything on a rescue without an electrician. I got my friend Anthony here from Big Ann Electric. How you doing, George? I'm doing great. What do we got to do here in this bathroom? Well, right now we're trying to pull out this uh, GFI outlet. All right. And uh, as we're pulling it out, I realize that it is hooked up backwards. So obviously, whoever did the electric beforehand had no idea what they were doing. Shoemaker, look at the ceiling. They actually have a wire draped around the side of the box. It's supposed to go inside the box, but we're going to correct all that. I got this. Whew. <sighs> Unfortunately, we're not done. We still got a lot more to do. Yeah, uh, you've you've done your part. I am. I am. I have sweat. I have. I have put in my sweat equity for this rescue. Everything in this room has got to go because we are rebuilding it from the ground up. 
Oh, I don't know. This, we may have to stand this up. This is, this is, uh, yeah, okay. And <laughs> we're not saying goodbye to the crib yet. Don't worry, family. We'll bring you all back. This is a two-man job. Why don't I take those from you? Yeah, okay. easy. Keep them in order. Don't put your back out. Yeah. I won't. Damon, I would love to go to the mill with you, but I told Doreen I would wait here for her, and she's supposed to be here any minute. So. Yeah, I do want to see Norm at the uh, the cabinet shop. All right, so I'll hold down the fort. Yeah. You make uh, some good work happen, and yeah. uh, I'll be here. Doreen Chambers, the one and only. Hi, Red George. How are you? Doing terrific. I am so glad that you brought your design expertise to this rescue because, as you can see, we need a lot of help. Well, this is a construction zone. It certainly is. You should have seen it beforehand. It actually looks worse, if you can believe it. I find that hard to believe, but um, from here, it can only get better. Exactly. So what do you think? It's quite a nice space. And um, what I'm planning to do is to have this be the living area okay. and then to have the TV over here and a media cabinet right on this wall. And then I'm thinking in that back section, it would actually be perfect for the two children to have it as their, their playroom. I love that and idea. that can be their exclusive area. Well, this is just the beginning. Wait till you see what we got going on upstairs. Can't wait. So Doreen, this is obviously Katie's room, but you can see it is the quintessential nursery. And let me tell you, she may be three, but she is no longer a baby. She is a big girl. Well, the thing that I like about this room is that it's, it's quite large. And uh, I know that one of Katie's requests, in fact, the, the one Katie request is that the room be pink. But I also wanted to have it that there'd be some um, versatility and some longevity with the color. And that's what I'm going to help her do. Well, I can just tell that you've been doing this for a long time. I have no doubt in your design vision for Katie and the family. So let's get to work. Let's do it. Coming up. Thank so you so much done. for helping us. Oh, you're welcome. But there is no rest for the weary. Now, I gotta paint this room. Okay. Oh, all right. Let's do it. This is where we set up over here, right? All right, that is the final piece of tile. Now let's grout. Hey, George. Eamon, I'm so glad you're back. Doreen was just here, she's amazing and has a terrific design plan for this place, but she can't get started until we finish construction. Here I come. Putting in a new heating and air conditioning unit was not something I was gonna add to this rescue. But after Mike B and the boys from One Hour Heating and Air Conditioning found out what we were doing on this rescue, they said we just had to have one. So guys, how many people do you think it's gonna take to get this installed in the closet in there? Normally two. You think normally just two people? Normally I do it by myself. Normally I do it by myself, Mike? Yeah. I'm gonna just go out on a limb here, and with my help, I'm still guessing it's gonna take all five of us. <laughs> Box over. There you go. There you go. Uh, let's go straight underneath the stairs. So we gotta get low. Oh, when you were sitting on you, we can pick it up all the Thanks. I appreciate that, guys. Straight up. Straight up. Coming forward. Good. You got that for me? Thanks, Louie. Hey Louie, you know what it means that you just helped me with that dolly? The fifth guy. You are the fifth, you are the fifth guy. <laughs> this is Katie's room, I like to call it the heart of our rescue. Got our new floors down. Putting in our baseboard, and then time to tackle the closet. The secret to a successful life is an organized closet, and there's nobody who can help you with that better than my friend Becky Newman. How's it going, Becky? Fine, George. How are you? Now, my girl Katie, she likes dress up. She likes princess dresses. She likes tutus. So I might have to make one entire section just for costumes. Well, that would be perfect. She's going to have plenty of room. I mean, she's basically getting four times the amount of hanging that was here before. Hey, 
thank you so much for helping us. Oh, you're welcome. There is no rest of the weary. Now, I gotta paint this room. Okay. Oh, all right. Let's do it. We're using two great colors here in Katie's room. For our accent wall, we are using Benjamin Moore's Aura Collection Luscious. And then for the rest of the room, we're gonna use a much lighter purple. It's actually called Orleans Violet, and it really is a durable paint, good for any room in the house. What's this thing right there? I have painter's tape, yep. This is actually something that a lot of people have a problem with. Yeah. You know, I'm, up, I'm upstairs right now. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm on the phone. You don't see it, but right here on this side, there's the uh, guys. All, I don't even know if he's talking to me half the time. Yeah. I swear to God. Yep. Yeah, I'll come on down. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have uh, three of those, four of those. Can you get that done by Saturday? Okay. Great. And can you send me 16 six by fours? Awesome. All right. Thanks. Bye. Hey, George. What's up? You know, the thing about this project is that. It's just so different because of the fact that we're doing it for Katie. When I approach people about getting involved in the project, they take it upon themselves to do sort of 10 times more. So in a way, that's really completely moving that there's that level of commitment. But at the same time, um, we're, we're kind of close to the tipping point of not being able to finish if we let one more job expand. So we're gonna pull it off, we're gonna finish. I'm feeling very good about it. Coming up. You guys wanna paint something for your rooms? Yeah. Something that we're gonna put in your new rooms? Uh -huh. All right, let's do it, come with me, let's do Go some painting. Yeah! George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by Expo. Life, remarkable. Is that the device? Yeah. This is the best way. Okay. Other way. Other way. Other way. This way. Eamon has got everything under control inside, which is great because I have to get to a play date. Hey guys, how's it going? Hi! So good to see you. Hi Kim. Hi. You guys want to paint something for your rooms? Yeah. Something that we're going to put in your new rooms? Uh -huh. Alright, let's do it. Come with me. Let's do Go some painting. Yeah! Should we do a few little drizzles? Yeah! It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Katie's room, Kevin's room, none for George. That's ours. Hi, Doreen. Back from my play date. What can I do to help? Hi there, George. Well, we still have a lot of furniture on the truck, so oh. let's try and move it all in and start placing it. All right, will do. Oh, now this is really exciting. This furniture from Bears is the stuff we're gonna use in Katie's bedroom. I can't wait to see it. Watch your back. It's a nice mirror. So although Katie's only gonna be here right now, right now one day. She, she's gonna be able to have the full on view. Gorgeous. Beautiful. That's a beautiful lady right there. Oh, it's oh, you, no, Doreen. You're too kind. This expo board is the perfect place to leave inspiring messages for Katie. Welcome to your big girl room, Katie. Hope you love it. Just to break up the pinks and purples in this room, we got ourselves a nice green and blue carpet from ABC. I think it looks perfect. I found the faucet for our sink. I think once we get this hooked up, our bathroom will be basically done. Doreen, I love this couch. It's perfect for this room. Yeah, I was looking for something very contemporary and um, I felt the Mitchell Gold and Bob Williams furniture would be perfect for the space. Whew. All of the projects are wrapping up. The Hanson's home looks brand new. I can't wait for the family to see it, especially Katie. Reveal time is almost here. Coming up. One, two, three. And there you go, Katie. Know someone in need of a rescue? 
send us an email at george at nbc.com. This has been uh, a one-of-a-kind experience for me. I'm just glad that I was invited to be a part of this project. Katie, she's absolutely delightful, and I think she's going to really enjoy it. I think she's going to love it. It is the most fun I've had doing my job in the last decade probably. This project was different. It was as intense as anything I've ever done, but it had an, another dimension, which was about Katie. I've never been involved in a project where people wanted to do so much. I think they're gonna be kind of amazed by what we've done. Katie! Hey! Oh! Hey, Are you ready to see your new room? This is amazing. Oh my god! This is like a completely different place. It looks like it's 50 times the size that it yeah. once was. Yeah, it does. It looks huge. I'm famous! Woo! It's a room! Unbelievable. For me, I just couldn't believe how much bigger everything looked. It's a new house. It's a completely right. different place and better in, in every imaginable way. Definitely. Roomier, cleaner, more organized. Uh, just fantastic. It was, it was incredible. Something for the kids, something for the adults. It's just perfect in every way. I'm very happy with it. Our new bathroom! Oh my Wow. Gosh. This is beautiful. Oh this is amazing. That shower is incredible. Oh, yeah. oh wow. My. Wow. <laughs> when Katie was diagnosed, I basically used to go in the bathroom and cry and cry and cry. And to have this now, it's like it's like a new beginning for her and a new beginning for us, and it gives new meaning to this bathroom. Oh yeah. Aww. It does. <laughs> and it's wow. Wow. beautiful. It is. One, two, three. And yeah, there you go, Katie. are no words to, to express how you feel when someone is giving you this gift, you know, of time and effort and labor. Really, it leaves me speechless. Yeah, it really does. It takes a, uh, maybe an experience like this with what happened to Katie to realize how much people really care and how much people want to do to help out. And all they need is to be given a chance and they, they go, you know, above off the hook. Or, yeah, way above, above and beyond what they have to do. It's just overwhelming. It's it, very, it really is overwhelming. I love my job. <laughs>